I just worry about the game, um, manage the game, um, try to carry over some things that we did well in game five and game six. How does it change things if you, if Sid can't go? How does that change things in terms of how you, uh, you know, match up with them and approach the game? Well, we're on the road, so we don't control the matchup, so it's not really a well, maybe question that we can answer unless we, if and when we can win game six and bring it home for game well, seven. Well, then what effect does what effect does not having Sid on the ice have? On them as you prepare to face him. Yeah, I mean, obviously he's an unbelievable player um, and is a massive part of their team. Um, so, you know, he's he's pretty instrumental all over the ice for them. So, um, I mean, especially in the face-off, that feels feels like a part of his game where he's been especially dominant the series. Uh, but they, you know, all their centers have really bared down. That's something that we need to uh, to improve on as a group. So we just need to to worry about controlling what we can control. How do you play with that passion and that purpose on the road now that you had last night? Uh, I think it's got to come from the guys in the room, um, right from the puck drop. Need to immediately get to the things, like I said, that we did well uh, in game five. I uh, can't sit around and wait and you know, have to force the issue. Could you what do you remember about, you were on the two teams in the past that came back from down 3-1. What do you remember about what it took to come back in those situations and how can those lessons maybe help you now? Uh, belief in the room, uh, belief in each other, commitment to playing as a group, and understanding that you know, we have to we have to do it as a team, uh, you know, not as individuals, and it's, uh, doing everything we can um, as a team to to stay in the moment and take it one shift at a time, regardless of what's going on in the games. And do you sense that kind of focus from from this group right now? Yeah, hundred percent. Sid is obviously, he said, he said, we know how impactful he is. It could go the other way where guys could be like, well, he's out of the lineup, so maybe we have it a little easier. Is that something you guys have to guard against? Uh, no, they've been, they've been a very effective four line team. Um, they, they've gotten contributions from everyone in their lineup, and uh, they, they play pretty consistently up and down, um, regardless of who's. Who's on the ice? They're 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 committed to playing a certain way. So, um, like I said before, we just have to you know focus on our game and try to control the things that we can control. Your line has seen them a lot. You know, I've seen him a lot in this series. Could this change for your mindset a little bit to go push more? Um, I don't think our mindset changes. Um, I think we need to continue to focus on doing the right things, uh, trying to be strong in the defensive zone. Um, Trying to support one another, break the puck out cleanly, advance the puck, and be effective on the four chip. What's, what's the headspace you feel like the team has to be in going to their building? Do you draw on games three and four, or do you completely disregard? Not in the playoffs. It's a fresh game, fresh start, so uh, you know just have to be ready for that first shift. Go from there. How much you enjoying watching the kids line uh, do what they're doing? Uh, it's been terrific. Um, I mean the the things that they've been able to do uh, the first five games. Uh, really inspirational, uplifting, um, playing with a lot of passion, a lot of heart. Uh, really really stepped up at, at key moments for us, and uh, that's important at this time of year is for, for everyone to, to to be working towards that, that goal and to be trying to do the right things you know, as a group and as a team, and they certainly have done that. Their, their details have been terrific, and um, you know, they want to make an impact every time they're out there. Chris, I think we all expected Igor to get the Vezina. Be a finalist for the Vezina. It's probably 50 50 if he would be a finalist for the heart, but he is. What do you think of that recognition for him? Uh, I mean, it's it's obviously very, very well deserved. Um, I mean, he's been our best player all year. Uh, I don't, we're certainly not in the position that we're in now without him. Um, I mean, he kept us in games, he, 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 he single handedly won games, so um, yeah, I mean, he's got my vote. Not that it counts for anything, but uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's I, I guess a wealth of riches of, of, over the course of my time here. We've been uh, been lucky enough to have pretty dominant goaltending, um, so it's kind of what I'm used to at this point. But this 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 season has been otherworldly, and he's been um, amazing as a as a teammate and as a competitor and as a person, and uh, really really lucky to have him. I don't I don't know if he lost confidence in games three and four, but. If it waned a little bit, do you think you got it back last 
yeah, I don't, I don't think that's a guy who loses confidence. I think that we needed to be better in front of him um, and that we, we let him down. So we need to, we need to continue to, to support each other. I think as much as you know, you're committed to the defensive side, it's a lot easier to, to play defense and to limit chances if you can break the puck out cleanly. So uh, to do that, we need a five-man unit. Um, they're, they're certainly an effective team when they, they get in on the forecheck and they're creating turnovers. So uh, for us, it's, it's making those, those exits clean. Advancing pucks and uh, knowing he's going to be there with the big stop when we need him. How inspiring was Ryan's game last night? Yeah, I mean that's just that's just the kind of player he is. Um, that's just how he's built. Uh, I don't think we expected anything less, but at the same time, yeah, I think the, the proper word is inspiring. Um, he's a he's a warrior. He's the kind of guy that you want to in a foxhole with you, um, and. You know, it was terrific to get him back in the lineup and uh, to see him play the way he did. So it's a huge part of this team, huge part. I mean, on the ice, in the locker room. So. With Filipino, what have you seen from him, his progression as a player, as a person, on and off the ice from year one to now? Uh, it's a guy that, that's constantly working, constantly working, constantly working. Um, and uh, the mas- mastery isn't linear. Um, and I think that's a guy who understands that. And, you know, regardless of... What's going on over the course of the season? Whatever he may think his game is, whether or not he he you know thinks he has confidence or doesn't, he's still doing the right things every single day. And ever since he showed up here, he's been a really, really, really good pro. Um, which is you know something that did, sometimes takes a little time for for a kid who's that young. Forget just just how young he he was and how young he still is. And um, you know his details just seem to get better and better. And uh, it's a guy who wants to be wants to be great. Who wants to. To, to have an impact every time he's on the ice and who's, who's really committed himself to winning and playing a team game. So um, he's become a massive part of our team and uh, he's, he's a joy to be around too. So. Sure. Tyler Mott um, was on the ice today. Uh, I don't know if he's going to be in the lineup tomorrow or not, but if he is able to go in six, if you win, not game seven, whatever it is, return at some point, what kind of impact did he make on, the, on your team? Yeah, it was unfortunate the injury happened when it did because a um, very effective player. Um, Plays with all kinds of speed, all kinds of work ethic. Very good on the penalty kill, um, you know, blocking shots, good at lines. Uh, guy whose who's game is very detailed, um, skilled, skates very well, um, and has a has a really like surprisingly uh, like jumpy release. Like I feel like it's hard for a goalie to pick up his shot when you see when you see him snap that puck. Like mm-hmm. several of the guys like on our team have like like Meek and Frank. So. Uh, yeah, I mean, that would be a huge addition to our lineup for sure. Chris, I just wanted to ask about um, how you evaluate the play of, of your line and your own play so far in the series, given some of the stuff we talked about about assignment, but also, you know, do you feel like there hasn't been enough production? Like, how do you evaluate all that, given what's going on in the series? Uh, I think it's a, it's, a, it's a, you know, funny sport that we play sometimes. Um, there's, there's duality to it. Um, you know, the, it's a game of inches. Uh, you know, one of our chances goes in. And maybe one one of their chances doesn't, and the narrative flips. So, for us, it's it's continuing to try to do the right thing, support each other, talk, and and work through it, and work for our chances. Um, I'm I'm a big proponent of the you know the harder you work, the luckier you get. So, uh, their first line certainly has worked worked for their bounces, and we need to work for ours.